We're ready to take off. And here comes the C-130 on its takeoff roll, and you'll see the nose rotate shortly. There we go. And then it flies off the main. Yep, this airplane is electric. Turn up the bell tones, Brian. <laughs> you know, there's been such a revolution in model aviation in the last 15 years. Um, it would be hard to imagine 15 years ago seeing an airplane this size being flown with electric motors. Um, the batteries would have been a lot heavier, not as powerful, and the motors wouldn't have been as reliable uh, or as powerful as they are today, but electric power for model airplanes has just become more and more and more popular. Um, it's cleaner, it's quieter, and uh, there isn't all that messy goo that you have to wipe off the airplane after every flight. Now, if you live in this area, you've seen C-130s fly over um, on their training missions out of Clearwater St. Pete Airport, where a number of the Coast Guard um, C-130s are based. And the way Marvin is flying this airplane, you'd think that you were looking at the full-size plane. And now we're on final approach. Airfare 2013, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, is the first of four major events we hold here at uh, the Sarasota RC Squadron Field each year. The next event will be in September, and that will be the Golden Age and Classic Airplane Fly-In. And then in November, we'll have the Corbin Miller Memorial Scale Masters Qualifying Event, which is a contest in which the airplanes are judged by static judges to see how closely the builders replicated the full-size airplanes. 